Ten years ago, my wife and I, we went to Stirling Castle, a wonderful castle in the highlands of Scotland in the United Kingdom. Stirling Castle, we, we went on a tour, and we had the headset, just similar to this, and we listened to how William Wallace, can you remember William Wallace from Braveheart, the movie? And we heard the whole story of how it unfolded, and it was wonderful, and we had this tour of the castle. It was around about 10 to 12, just before lunchtime. We felt quite hungry, we wanted something to drink, so we went to the cafe inside the castle. My wife got a table with two chairs. I got the drinks and the, and, the, and the sandwiches, and I had the tray, and I came back, and I put it on the table, and we started eating and drinking the food and drink. To the side of me was a leaflet stand full of businesses, organizations, within Scotland, trying to entice me, trying to attract me to go and visit them. And as we're reading, I looked at this leaflet stand, and I got my camera out, and put it back. My wife said this. What did you take a photograph of that for? I said, what? She said, a leaflet stand. I said, you don't understand. In 10 years time, I'll be in Ecuador. And I'm gonna show every successful entrepreneur and every business person in that room how we really stand out from the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the photograph I took. Are you ready? Ta-da! Everything's the same. Everything looks the same. You are different, you stand out, you tell me you're different, prove it. And yet not many businesses can prove it. We all look the same shape, we all look the same size. Size does matter. It's not just Sterling Castle. I come across these everywhere. Uh, this one was in, in Canada. It was very cold. This was in Philadelphia last year, near, the, near the, the rocky statue and the steps. When I talk about this story, when I talk about these ideas, one strange thing has been happening recently. I have members of the audience finding leaflet stands where they live, and they start taking photographs of them, and they emailed me, he said, Jeff, we found another one. This has got to stop. You're a successful business. This is why you're here. You want to become more successful. This is why you're here. You will have budgets for marketing. You will may have advertising agencies. You may have in-house support to deliver great pieces of marketing, literature, materials, whatever it may be. But let me share with you this. Why don't you take away the budgets and see how creative you are? Have no budget and see how creative you are. Because in my experience, with myself working with clients all over the world, that is when we get creative. When our back's against the wall, when we are struggling, when we haven't got a budget, but we need to market and promote our business. That is when we get creative. Many, many years ago, a lady came to see me. She had a laundry service. She just launched her own business. She'd been going in business for one month, and she had that many customers. Not one customer, nothing. She produced pink pieces of paper, flyers, introducing her laundry service to the local community and households. And this is what she did. She, she, would, she would come to your home. She would take your laundry. She would take it back. She would iron it. She would bag it all up. And then she would bring it back the next day. You give her money. It's a simple business. 
but she didn't have one dollar to spend on marketing. Not one dollar, nothing. She did these flyers herself. She printed them on her own home computer. And she came to me after the first month. She said, Jeff, I'm struggling. I don't know what else to do. And I looked at what she was doing. And I said, you look the same as everybody else. When you push this piece of material through the door and it lands where everything else is, you look the same. She said, what do you suggest? I said, if you give me a week, just one week, if I can come up with any ideas for you, I'll give you a call. And after three, uh, three days, I came up with this one idea. This one idea I'm going to show you now. This one idea that's all been around five continents. When she came into my room after three days, this is what I did. I got her original pink paper. And I crumpled it into a ball. And I said, this is what we're going to throw through people's letterboxes in future. She said, I don't think so. I said, no, 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 look. If you put this through the door tonight, and you open the door and you saw this, what would you think? She would think, it's different. I said, and then what? She said, well, I would have to pick it up. I said, and then what? She said, I would have to open it. And I said, and then what? She said, I would have to read it. Ladies and gentlemen, and this is what I designed all these years ago. It says, don't let your clothes become as creased as this. We did 100. We tested it in the marketplace. She phoned me up two weeks later. She had eight clients, eight customers from something as simple as this. She had no budget, but that is when we become creative. What can you do? Oh, thank you. We have one person clapping. You can join in if you want. <laughs> what can you do? Do you see opportunities, ladies and gentlemen? Yes or no? Do you see opportunities? Three people see opportunities. Thank you. The rest, no, no, Jeff, we're too busy for opportunities. And yet they pass us by. Opportunities pass us by. Think back to... <laughs> think back to Valentine's Day. Did anybody here receive a Valentine's card on Valentine's Day? This isn't the most romantic room I've ever been in. We've been married for 15 years now, and on the morning, I give Haley a card, she gives me a card, we open it, we say, thank you very much, and we put it on the fireplace, and that's it. That is Valentine's Day. I was working at home on, uh, on, on February the 14th this year, I was working at home, and uh, my wife came in, uh, Haley came in around about lunchtime. And the postman had already been, he delivered the post, and I hadn't realized this. There was a magazine for me, and there was a letter. And Haley, as she walked in, she said, oh, here's the post. And she gave me the magazine, and on top of the magazine was this letter. I thought nothing of it. I just left it and put it to the side. It was handwritten, so somebody took the, 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 the time, the effort to handwrite this. So I thought, I'll open it. And as I turned it over, for those of you who are unaware of our English custom, this stands for sealed with a loving kiss. Uh-oh. 
I didn't open it. <laughs> I put it under the magazine, and it stayed there all day and all night. We don't play tricks on each other. I didn't know who this was from, but I was not going to open it in front of my wife. <laughs> 11 o'clock at night, Haley is asleep in bed. I get out of bed and creep into the next room where I bring out my card. And I open it. On the front of the card it says, love is in the air. As I open the card, it says, fancy a weekend away so I can get closer to you? www.closertoyou.me forward slash Jeff. Kiss. Would anybody here go to that website if it was you? Yes. Haley is still asleep. I'm in the spare room. I turn the computer on and I put my foot against the door <laughs> in case she comes in. <laughs> Don't clap. Don't clap. So I type in the address. She can't get in. I'm wondering what this is going to be. Is it going to be a photograph? Is it going to be a video? I don't, who's this? Who's this from? And as I pressed enter, this was the page. This is a media company back in the UK, one of the biggest media companies there is. The Bauer Media Group. Many radio stations and, and publications. Similar to yourself. Hello! Thanks for getting closer to me. That romantic night away could still be on the cards. All you need to do is read the text below and answer a simple question in the competition. And if we choose you as a winner, you get a free romantic weekend away. I have never been so relieved in all my life. Thing that, thing that I love about this more than anything else, I didn't see it coming. It put a smile on my face. I was worried. It hit every emotion. But the thing that delights me more than anything else is that my final event in 2013, last December, I spoke for the Bauer Media Group. I challenged everybody in that room to create OMG moments that will get talked about the world over. Two months later, they sent this to me. This is my client. I've never been so proud. Because I phoned them up 24 hours later, I said, oh, you had me worried. And they were all laughing because they had it on speakerphone in the office. They were all laughing. And they said, we thought you'd like it, Jeff. You inspired us to think differently about our marketing communications. And this is a business-to-business -business OMG moment. If you type in Google, great B2B marketing, there's nothing there. I said, tell me the results. Just tell me the results. This is 24 hours later. He said, already we've had 70%. 70% of people have already logged in and give us the answer. This is now creating leads for us, which we will turn into business. What are you going to do on Valentine's Day? Anything? Nothing? Think about that next piece of material that goes out with your branding on it. Is it